<sighs> Hello everyone. <sighs> I've been sitting at my computer and my heart has been racing again today. <sighs> because today I came and thought, I don't know what to talk about today. So today is a real big experiment for me. <sighs> I was talking to a friend the other day and I was talking about Facebook Live and doing new things. And he said to me, it's very similar to walking into a, a dark room. Everything's pitch black and you don't know what to expect. And you don't know what you're going to see there. And you don't know what's going to jump out of you at the dark. And I think doing new things and uh, taking new directions, new paths, embracing our fears is pretty similar to walking into a dark room because we have this fight or flight within our human bodies and it's natural it goes back to when we used to run and be chased by tigers and lions and uh, so we've still got this feeling inside that when we're doing something new we have to run it's going to be scary so all the adrenaline starts pumping and I think sometimes that we confuse excitement uh, with fear. So today I'm having a bit of a, am I feeling fear? Am I feeling anxiety? Am I excited? Uh, is it a mixture of the two? Morning, Ali. Thank you for joining me. Um, going to just be with my feelings here and see how it all goes. I have a feeling that today's talk is going to be more for my benefit as much as it is for anybody else's. Because I guess sometimes we maybe do overwork, we overwork ourselves, we get too busy, we get too stressed. And we try to force or mould the universe into our making or we uh, try and make sure that everything's done the way we want it to be. Now I've been a bit guilty of that lately. This past week I've had so much to do, so many new things and so many um, things I want to achieve as well. And I haven't been trusting. I've been trying to get so much done and not allowing myself to drop into grace. And I think that many of us are probably guilty of this at some point or another, that we just feel that nothing will get done unless we make it happen. And I got told a little while ago by my best friend that sometimes I need to take off this hat that I wear. And the hat that I wear is trying to be master of the universe. <laughs> I try and make everything happen instead of allowing grace and life to bring me what I need. And it's a lack of trust. And last night when I went to bed, I... Uh, I pulled an oracle card by these cards I've got called Kuan Yin, Wild Kuan Yin. And they told me in no uncertain terms that I, that I have to take the, my hands off the steering wheel. Because when we've got a lot to do, we think that we've got to do it all now. We feel like we've got to get, get it done by a certain date. We feel like we've got to do everything at once. And I posted something recently about just taking one step at a time, doing one thing at a time. And while I agree with it, <laughs> sometimes I just forget and I get lost and carried away in 
all of my to-dos too. So if you're watching today, live or on the catch-up, what do you need to let go of? What do you need to drop? Is there anything that you're doing right now that perhaps you need to take your hands away and you need to maybe take a, a lighter approach to life? Perhaps you're getting too serious. I'm talking to myself as well right now. <laughs> Perhaps you're getting too serious about the job or the work or the business or your education or anything um, that you're really passionate about or you feel like you need to get it done. Perhaps you're so serious that you've forgotten how to play, that you've forgotten how to laugh, that you've forgotten how to take life more lightly. And more importantly, that like maybe you've forgotten how to trust and to trust that when we get out of our own way, when we take our hands off the steering wheel of life, when we take the hat off that thinks that we've got to do everything ourselves, that we actually leave room and space for grace, for life, for opportunities, for people, for exactly what we need to come to us. Now I'm of the belief that sometimes we might have a long list of things to do, but perhaps we don't need to do all of them. Um, not all of them are life or death. Some days we just need to let our hair down. Some days we just need to play. Today I had a big long list. This is not very long, but I had a really long list. Normally I have a really long list and I go through them one by one. But I've decided I'm going to listen to some music today. I'm going to dance in my office. I may just surf the net and play and watch some videos and audio. Might do something in the garden. And the ego, the mind, can tell us, but you've got all this to do. How are you going to get this done? Who else is going to do it? But, you know, we have got helpers. We have got non-physical helpers. You can call them God. You can call it life, the universe. You could just call it your intuition, the natural flow of nature. And they're there to help. But sometimes we just don't give them the chance to. We try and do it all ourselves. And we know what that feels like because it causes headaches. I had a migraine a couple of days ago and I had a little one this morning too. And those headaches and those stresses and those strains tend to be when we're overworking and we're not actually giving life space or room to help us out. I have lots of emails to send. I'm at the moment, I'm co I've just begun uh, co-producing a radio station called Shining Bright Radio. And we're at the beginning stages where we're gathering and collaborating and bringing in inspirational speakers and teachers and podcasters. And there's two of us. And I sort of placed it on my shoulders that I would do everything. And I realized that I can't do everything. I'm not an island and I'm so used to working on my own that working with other people is really, really strange to me. <laughs> So I'm having to learn to give up that control, that, that need to have things done in a specific way. And I'm an Aries as well. My sun sign is Aries and we like everything done now and we like everything done in our way. And uh, we still like to, we like people. We don't really, I'm not just someone who just wants everything my way um, at the opposition of other people. I really love to support and encourage those who I'm working with and who are going to be part of the station too. So even now, you know, watching this video, being on this video, there's even a need to try and control what I say. And the reason when I do my videos, I tend not to plan and I don't tend to script my videos 
is because it's a big challenge to me to let go of control and to trust that I have helpers. I believe that we all have helpers. We have angels and guides. You may not believe this, but I feel them come in when I come to do a talk and the lights flickered before I came on today. My heart was racing, which tends to be when they step forward to help me. <laughs> and I feel like they're just saying to me now, Kelly, it's okay. We're here. You have help. And everybody that's watching has help too. So whatever you've got planned for this week, however many lists of achievements or ideas or things you feel you've got to do. Ask yourself if they would happen a lot more gracefully if you just got out of your own way and had a little bit of relaxation into your day. Give yourself a break because sometimes when we're thinking the mind tries to work things out, tries to get things done. We don't really have room inside of our heads in our hearts to actually allow inspiration to come in. You'll often find that, say, you're washing dishes or you're having a bath or uh, you're on the toilet. <laughs> Sometimes the best ideas come when that happens because you're doing something really grounded. You're doing something that involves no thought and it gives you space to just let the answers come. It's like when you've got problems and you're really stuck and you're stressed out about something and you really want the answers and you want to know what to do and how to work around something or a block that you've got. You'll find that the more you try to push that block out of the way, the more you try to find the answers, the more, you ti more times you try and find your lost keys in your house, the less likely you are to be able to do any of that. I, I live with my best friend Mike and sometimes either me or him, if we get a bit stuck or lost and we've, we've forgotten what we're doing and we really need to find something before we go out or we're thinking something and we've lost track of thought. If it's him, I tend to suddenly have the idea that he's needing the answer for. But he cannot find it. He can wander around the house trying to find it, thinking about it. It doesn't come. But once he stops, he takes a break, he maybe has a sandwich, he goes for a walk, the answers come. But sometimes the answers don't come straight away. That's the problem with us humans. We are very impatient. Sometimes we want the answers to our prayers, to the blocks that are happening. We want them now. And I know this only too well because I'm someone who likes things to happen right now. <laughs> and I often find that maybe a few days later or even a few weeks later, the answers to something just happens. When I've stopped trying to make it happen, when I've stopped trying to fix it. <sighs> So I'm just going to sit and uh, say hello to Ali and Nancy and I don't know if I've got much more to say but I'm not going to force myself to run away from this video because my ego is saying let's leave now we've got nothing else to say. Can you feel that? Can you feel that space? What does it feel like? I think we're so scared of the empty spaces and the silence that we fill them up. Especially when we're with other people or we're socialising. Well, when we trust that in that space is this quality of love, of peace, of tranquility. And it doesn't need to be filled. And everything's okay 
just as it is. And I feel really happy and I don't know why. <laughs> I can only say it's because I'm just allowing my helpers to come in and they're saying to me, tell everybody it's okay. The empty space is okay. That's where the light comes in. That's where the answers come from. That's where the solutions come from. That's where we get comfort from. So if you're stressed or overwhelmed, just watch this space. And, and when people say meditate or, or simply be, what really works for me is being a watcher. It's kind of like sitting now, pausing, allowing this, this space in your room or inside of your head just to be. And you watch, sort of from the back of your head, this space. You don't try to fill it with thinking or thoughts or ideas or worries. In there is a really beautiful loving place and we can all go there. Everyone has access to this space. And you see I started this video high energy, my heart was racing, I felt like I was a bit fearful and a bit nervous. But as time's gone on, I've given myself permission just to feel and to be in the space of silence. And to trust the space. And like I said at the beginning of the video, trusting is like walking into a, a darkened room. We don't know what's there. We don't know if anything's going to jump out of us. So we, we're on heightened alert. But sometimes in that darkened room is something really beautiful and something really powerful. I hope you can feel this love that I'm feeling right now. It's beautiful and so are you. I want you to know that even if you're alone right now or you're feeling lonely or tired or ill, I might not be able to see you but life can see you. Your helpers can see you, your angels, your guides, God, whatever you want to call it can see you and is there witnessing you, witnessing in all your grace and all your love and all your messy human ways and still loving you, loving you as you are right now. This is how life works when we let it. So when you go about your day to day, just remember this. You're loved. You don't have to have your life together. You don't have to be perfect. Things can be falling apart. You can feel sad. You can feel angry. But life is loving you still. Thank you. I'm going to go now. But uh, before I go, I just wanted to say that no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. It's gone. 
Right, okay, my next talk I'm going to do is on Saturday at about the same time, 10 o'clock London time. And I'm also going to um, pop something on my page sometime today that I'd love you to join my new page, which is called Shining Bright Radio. It's not my page, it's our page, mine and Brian Green's. And it's a radio station that we're setting up, which is to inspire, uplift and encourage people with mental health issues or people who just just need cheering up, need some upliftment in their day. We're going to have really lovely music, uplifting, happy music, talks from great speakers, authors and lots of new, new inspirers out there. And it's just going to grow and evolve. I'm quite excited. It's going to be launched on May the 1st. But at the moment, we're bringing in the right people. So if you're watching and you have quotes or stories or even just a message that you'd like to share with the people of the world and you can record at home from the comfort of your computer or on your mobile phone, I'd really love to welcome that to Shine and Bright Radio because I think everyone's got a voice everyone's got a message and everybody has something to give. We've all had challenging experiences and we learn from them and because of that we've got something to give back. So, thanks for watching. This has turned into not what I expected so I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.